All right, so today I'm going to show you how to collect seeds from Shasta Daisy plants. This will also work on Black Eyed Susans. Basically, the first thing you want to do is look at the seeds or look at the flower pods here. Now, after they finish blooming like that, they turn into this and then they eventually go into that and then eventually look like that. So this is like done. You can tell by just putting your fingers inside of it and trying to peel it back. That's like totally completely dry. And those little things that just popped out are the seeds. So for instance, you look at this one, this one's still green, so that one's not ready. Peel it back a little bit. That one's still a little bit green, so we're not gonna do that one yet. So for the ones that are done, you just put the scissors up there, you clip it off into a bag or a collection bucket of some kind. Um, right now, I just have a Ziploc bag full of little seeds, heads. Um, so after this, I'm going to take them into the shed, lay them out on a paper plate, um, let them dry out for a few more days, and then you put them back into the bag, you seal the bag, you shake it so all the seeds come loose, off the head and then you'll have a bunch of seeds at the bottom of the bag. After that you keep them in a cool dry place such as a garage or shed because they need to be cold for a few months and then um, what that does is it stratifies the seeds and it gets it ready for planting for the next season. Um, I usually do that until about May and then I plant them straight into the ground around Mother's Day when all the danger of frost has passed. Usually in Illinois, it's right around Mother's Day, give or take a couple days. Um, and then that's it. So um, yeah, this can also be used on coneflowers, um, any kind of delphiniums like those ones back there. It's pretty much you just wait until they're completely dry. Um, definitely don't pick them the day after a rainy day. You have to wait until they're really, really dry. But yeah, you see that one? Those are all dry and ready to get clipped off. And that's it.